Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to give away my favorite lot that's Windy Cine version 2. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we're in Photoshop and very first thing let's create an art for and for that first control and N. And I'm going for four by five resistance to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to eight. And let's keep everything as default and let's click that create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop our very first image. This one right over here. And it's a smart object. So press control and T. Let's make it a little bigger. So it's somewhere around here. All right, and now let's drag and drop a cloud texture and very back. And control T, let's keep it somewhere over here. And let's add a clip. So let's go over here, click on that eclipse, press shift to make a perfect circle. And then control A T, let's give it a little bigger. Here we go. And let's give it a kind of similar color. This one and let's click on OK and let's create a new layer. Go to brush. And I'm going to use this brush. So select this one. And I'll just go with a kind of white color. Yeah, we go. Let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. And let's create a one more layer. Here we go. Now let's keep keep it uh, above this layer. Uh, let's change the color overlay. And uh, let's key made a kind of darker color color like this and let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. And let's make this a little bigger. Control T. Maybe because let's keep it. Let's move it right over here. And it's move somewhere around here too. Just like so. Uh, let's do some color adjustments. So select this layer, go to a filter. Let's go to a camera raw filter. And uh, let's go over here. Let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. And uh, let's go under this uh, effects tab and let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture. And let's go on color mixer. Uh, let's drop down the saturation for red a little bit. Here we go. And let's increase for yellow and orange. And let's drop down the luminance a little bit. Here we go. Let's click on OK. And let's make a one more copy. So Control J. And let's add a hue and saturation. Let's give, click on that clip to layer so that this hue and saturation is going to affect only this layer and let's drop down the saturation all the way to zero and let's keep everything inside a group control g and let's rename it as a black and white uh, let's create a layer max go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush this one and let's click on that layer max and fill it with black and let's go back to white and let's make certain section black and white. So let's go over and let's paint it over right over here. There we go. And let's do the same thing right under here. Just like so. You know, select both there, control T. And let's make it a little bit bigger somewhat. Yeah, me so. Right here. All right, and then let's drag and drop another picture. Uh, let's keep it right over here. Let's keep it under this layer and let's change the blending mode to screen. Control T, let's make it a little bigger. It may seem smaller. Here we go. Let's keep it like that. And let's drop down the opacity a little bit. 
just like so. Uh, let's go on very top and let's click on lookup and from here click on load. And I'm going to use Windy Senior version 2. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we got. And then let's go over here and let's add a curve. Let's make it a little brighter. And again, click on that layer packs, fill this with black. Let's go back to brush and let's make this face a little brighter. So let's click on that white color. And let's make it a little brighter, just like so. All right, now let's add some text. You know, let's keep it right over here. Press Control and T. Let's change the font. You know, now I will just go with. Yeah, uh, let's well, let's go with this one. Press Control and T. Let's make it a little bit smaller, just like so. Right um, now, let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E, and uh, let's make a copy. Control J, and let's go back to filter, and let's go back to filter gallery, and let's add some diffuse glow. So select this one. Let's drop down the glow amount a little bit. There we go. Maybe some more, some less, just like so. And let's click on OK. Uh, let's create a layer max again. Let's fill that layer max with black color. And with the white color selected, let's paint some blue back. Here we go. Make some right over here. Make some right there. This is before and this is after. So that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll see you on next video. Till then, you guys take care. Be safe and be creative. Bye bye.